I'm Jason and this is my bike check Mark II. Right, what we got here is a 2013 Yes XXL. Um, my previous view was running um, the Harrow double XL, but I've you know, it's done me proud. I've ridden it for a season, managed a 3 1 and regional and a 22 national. My first season, I ride riding the Masters, that's like 30 to 39. There's not that much change from my Harrow, really. I've just swapped over the parts from when I was running my Blackout. Um, we have the uh, TI uh, rainbow spokes running on URP hubs, um, front and back. These hubs have been absolutely superb. They've run faultlessly, as you can hear. They run really sweet. I got cleat cranks. Um, also upgraded to uh, clipless pedals. Shimano clipless. Um, I was a never say never, I was always a flat, flat man guy. I still like to ride flats on different tracks, like home tracks, and sometimes I go on the big tracks with flats as well just to keep my skill up. Um, I don't think the bars have changed from last time. Uh, what I've changed is onto lock ons because I was finding I was losing, I was gripping the bars too hard with the, uh, the push ons. I was running Sins push-ons before, but they, when they get wetter, they was making it a little bit slippy, so that's just another upgrade. Another upgrade I've done as well uh, is running these Maxxis DTH tyres. These are actually the banded tyres. They've got uh, steel bands in there. Um, I'm running 175 on the front, and I'm running a, a 150 on the back. It does alter the gearing a little slightly, but not too bad. I quite like the gearing. It's probably give it about a, a 30, a 40, 43 and a half. It's actually, I'm running a 40, 42 teeth, but it feels like a 43 and a half. It's in between 43 and a 44 tooth, which is really good. I'm still running the gusset chain. I love these chains. I've got two of these chains. Never had any problems with these chains. No tight links or nothing like that. Runs super smooth, super silky. And that's really about it. Um, differences between the Yes frame. Please ignore my, my spray job. It's a temporary spray job because it was, it was a white bike. Um, and I just can't deal with white. No offence, like, I don't mind white. I'm just talking about the bikes. I like my bikes black, I like them dark. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I just run a Chris King headset and uh, Supercross forks as well. Um, these came, this is a bike with second hand, I bought bike second hand, but it's like twice the price of what I, uh, my Harrow. But the uh, difference is night and day, really. My Harrow is a good, good piece of machinery. Don't get me wrong. I'd ride it back every any every day. I had to build it back up because I bought another one of these. It was too small. I bought an XL. It was too small for me, and I couldn't get along with it. So I had to build my Harrow back up. Um, and I finished second in two of my motos, which gave me the the third overall over my regional. I was pretty pleased with that. But um, yeah, the difference between this. No, I don't want a nice ring, thank you. Uh, the difference between this and the Harrow Blackout, the back end is slightly shorter by half an inch. This is in fact the same chain setup that was used on the Harrow Blackout and you, as you can see it's moved nearly three quarters of an inch to the back. So it just gives you an idea of how long the blackout was, and the blackout was slammed. Slammed mean it was all the way that way, okay? But even still, I'm still running this the same dimensions as my blackout. It's still manual, so much better than the blackout. It's so much more slippery out the gate. Um, a lot of people are saying that really and truly you can't buy a better aluminium, a stiffer aluminium frame and even the newer ones, the newer types the newer type frames, the 2014, 15 and the 
are even stiffer than these but this this will do me absolutely love this I love the design yeah it's got like a swan neck design 20 I think the, the top top tube from there to there is 22 22 inches so you've got a lot of rider room the angles actually different to give you that rider room as well but it's just an awesome piece of machine and I think this is this is me I'll be riding yes for the foreseeable future okay thanks for watching